and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. you care for some more soda, comrade? One more time. You came to, to hear the speech, right? Keep your feet Go to the town apart. square. I bet and that's where your friends are. Thing. Sure, thanks. Now, which way is the town square? Just head for the large building. You really need this. Oh, my oh, God, God star. Thank you so much. Sorry, honey. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Here, let me lie there all day. Number three is balked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Get your thought device today. Get connected <laughs> straight away. Comrades! Icarus platform residents and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 38. Ah, all right, you sunk it. Let's play something else. Social media. I wonder what color scheme I should. Are they getting rid of the rain clouds tomorrow, Sveta? Get oh, your thought device today. Nice Get connected straight away. I had my polymer treatment yesterday. smiling down on us. Don't you think? It's the new dress you're wearing. Sweetheart. Here's an idea. I'm a lady from the future, and you're Attention, comrades! Listen up! Tickets are now available for new performance at the Pioneer. Jamba Jamba, Kitty Pampa. Comrades, Comrades, residents, and visitors to Chelame City, Dr. Sechenov's address will begin in 10 minutes. Hear about its great discovery and pay your respects the Academy of Science is estimated. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, 
device. Everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Yeah. What a way to be. You fought in the war, comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. Any information gathered by these sensors will be polymerically projected directly onto your retina, producing an augmented reality effect. The only effect I've seen so far, Bot, is pretty much nothing's changed. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin.
Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome, welcome to your future. future. Today, Today, we stand, stand on the brink of the greatest, greatest event in the history, the history of mankind. We, we find, find ourselves just, just one, one small step, step away, away from, from an amazing, amazing evolutionary victory, victory that will profoundly change, change the world. Report to the lobby of that high-rise, Comrade Major. They're waiting for you. No, no I'm not, not exaggerating. exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of mimetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, so glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade robots. Major. The car is waiting. Be able to you must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. And it's been left with finally, one of his bodyguards. Free yeah, not to leave. Difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to... I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just... so nice. Our elevator has arrived. We present to you the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You We'll no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Learn how to control robots with your own mind and...